Some days it's just like pulling your hair out. You're thinking, man, I, if I could just figure out a way to get more space. Everyone's on top of each other. You're now working, you know, from home. And that trend isn't going anywhere. Did you know that, you know, when it was pre-pandemic, only about 5 to 7% of people were working remotely from home. In the peak of the pre-pandemic, you were really, we were seeing statistics at 42%, which was huge. Going into this year and next year into 2025, those statistics are looking somewhere around that 22 to 25%. So remote working is just not going anywhere. So if you're feeling like you're about to pull your hair out, you need to figure out a way to get into a bigger size home just because, you know, it's time and you need to do it. You're actually not alone. About 13% of homeowners right now are in exactly the same position as you are. Um, statistics aside, there's some great things about working from home. Obviously, it can increase productivity, give you save time by commuting. It can increase job satisfaction. It can definitely increase your pool of talent, of resources, of people that you can use globally. But there's definitely some downsides to it as well. It can create a lot more isolation and also lessen team co-adhesion, you know, and also you can really create a blurred life work balance where boundaries are hard to keep in check. Um, knocking off times and starting times can be a little bit more difficult if work is at home. So today I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach and I just want to give some recommendations, food for thought, on ways that maybe you can reconnect if you are one of those people that are working from home remotely and you do while you're waiting for that transition into moving into a larger home, ways to get out, um, get out of the house and not go stir crazy. Some things that I found useful personally is just getting out for a walk, um, getting into you know a hiking club or just getting out yourself just 15 minutes a day or breaks throughout the day and getting a walk in. The other thing I really enjoy looking at is Facebook events. Um, just seeing there's paint nights, there's different things on there that really give you some ideas on what you can do to stay connected with other people and within the community. You can also look at your local church and see what events and services that they have. Um, you could start a neighborhood watch. You could do a potluck within your community. There's a lot of things that you can do to stay connected. So um, for today, I hope that you're feeling like you're connected in your community. But if you're not, please try one of those tips. And if you're ready to make that move, please book a call by clicking the link below so I can guide you in that next best move.